Hey everybody, Mrs. Norris here. So today I'm going to be helping you put together your digital portfolio for the 2020-2021 school year. Um, you'll be watching this tutorial and throughout this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to put together a Google site web page that's going to showcase all of the stuff that you've been doing in the last school year. If you can follow along with your eyes and your brain, I'm going to read this top part to you. As part of our 2021 open house presentation, we would like you to create a digital portfolio of your accomplishments from the past year. A digital portfolio is a way to showcase and reflect on your hard work during virtual learning. Each of your teachers has created a list of assignments that they think will best show what you have learned, and you are going to use that information to create a web page of the tasks you have completed throughout the year. So the first thing that we're going to do before we do anything is look at an example of what your website or web page is going to look like. So number one, it says review the example site. I'm going to go ahead and click on the word here and it's going to take me there. So you can see up at the top, we have a special banner that has been created for you for this activity. You're going to start with a little introduction about yourself, um, tell your the website viewer a little bit about you and about your learning and who you see yourself as. And then you're going to um, reflect on this past year of learning virtually. Um, underneath that, there'll be some space to pick put pictures that reflect your year of virtual learning. And then underneath that will be artifacts from each of your um, content areas that will show what you have learned in that class. Okay, so we do have math, ELA, history, science, and then PE, and if you had an elective, a space for an elective artifact, okay? So right now all you're doing is watching this tutorial. Now before we do anything, I'm gonna show you that the best way to do this activity is to split your screen. That way you can watch what I am doing in this tutorial and complete the steps on your own on a different site while watching the two together. If it's easier for you to just switch between tabs, that works too. Whatever is easiest for you, that's what you do, okay? So the way that I suggest that you do this first is I'm gonna open up this first download. So it says download a copy of the Hamilton Digital Portfolio Banner. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Please don't click on it yet. Wait for me, wait until I give you instructions. So I'm gonna click on that banner. I do want to make a copy of this, so I'm going to make a copy. Again, you're just watching what I'm doing right now. And there we have that banner page that we're going to be using later. And what I'm going to show you how to do is how to download this as a PNG so that you can upload it to your banner on your digital portfolio site. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the... Um, uh, the instructions page and I'm going to click on the next thing that says go to the Google Sites page here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that as well and then stop. I'm not going to do anything else. So what I'd like for you to do in this moment is pause the tutorial and make a copy of the banner and then go to this site so that those two tabs are open and then come back and be continue watching this tutorial. So pause the tutorial, do those two things and then come back together with me. Okay, so before we do anything else, before we move on, I am gonna show you how to split your screen. So right now you're probably on this screen watching this tutorial and waiting for me to show you what to do. So the best thing to do is to click one of the tabs that you've just opened and drag it down, move it to the right, not so much so that you can't see the screen anymore, but just move it to the right and then drag your screen over. So I'm just clicking and dragging my screen to be so that I can still see the instructions, this tutorial, okay? And then I can resize it so it takes up the whole page. Now, <clears throat> when I click back on my original page, I can't see it anymore. That's just because I have to now resize this page also, okay? So I'm going to be working on my Google Sites in my screen on the right, and then I'm going to be 
watching this tutorial in my screen on the left. So I suggest that you pause this tutorial again and split your screen the way that you see mine here. Okay, so now that your screen is split, the next thing that I'm gonna do is click and drag my tab with my picture on it that I'm gonna be using for a banner and move it over to my other window. So I have that those two things over there. Go ahead and pause this tutorial and click and drag your image to your second window. All right, so with all of that taken care of, I think we're ready to begin. So I'm gonna to go to my Google Sites page. Again, you're watching this tutorial and either you're watching it full screen and then pausing and completing the steps, or you are watching the two things together and pausing and completing the steps. So you can see that I have a lot of web um, pages already started from other students. You're focused on up at the top where it says start a new site. We're going to click blank. And before we do anything else, your title page, your page title, we don't need this big one that's in the middle here. So while it's showing these options to either edit or remove, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Now, if you don't have those options, if you just click, those options will show up for you. So again, if I, if I don't see the blue box around. Anything that has a blue box around it is what I am editing in that moment. I'm gonna go ahead and click, and then I'm going to remove. So I'm just gonna click on the trash can. So do that for me now, please. We do still need to have a title for this. So up at the top where it says untitled site, I'm going to put my first and last name. You do the same. So first and last name and then 2021 digital portfolio. Okay, so again, it's your first and last name, 2021 digital portfolio. It's also written right here, 2020, well, just 2021 digital portfolio. So again, you're putting your first and last name and then digital portfolio. Do that for me now, please. Okay, so um, looking again at the example, we're going to start with our reflection up at the top. So what we need to do is we need to add a layout that's going to make this super easy for us. So we're going to over here, if I um, click on just the first one, it's going to add that, that um, layout for me. So again, I'm going to go to the first first one here and I'm going to click it. Now we don't need this picture so I'm going to go ahead and click on that picture and I'm going to delete it. Okay and then we want to stretch out our text here so that it goes all the way to almost the end so it's even. Okay, so I'll show you that again. So we deleted the picture. I click and then trash can. And we've made this um, longer by a click and then drag. Okay, now we want this to be um, center aligned. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the center. And then you can choose any font you want. You can choose um, anything from the list here. Okay, any font that you want and then any color that you want. I'm gonna stick with red and I'm gonna do that reflection um, title. It says reflection, reflecting on a year of virtual learning. So let's type that here. Okay, go ahead and pause the tutorial and do that for me now. Okay, 
Now where it says click to edit, that's where the text, the reflection text to copy is going to come in handy. So all the parts that are read, you're going to delete and change to your information. When we copy this over to, when we copy and paste this over to our digital portfolio, the red is gonna disappear. So use this as a guide to help you on what it is that you need to change. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy. So highlight all of this. And then I'm going to right click copy. And then I'm going to go to the digital portfolio and right click paste. Oh, I guess the red did stay, so that's good. So that red information is what you are going to change, including the greeting. So you can change the greeting to hello or welcome or thanks for coming, some kind of a greeting. And then my name is with your first name only. And I am a choose one, sixth, seventh, or eighth grader at Hamilton Middle School in Long Beach, California. My favorite subject in school is, and you're going to change that to your favorite subject and then tell your viewer why. When I'm not in school, I like to, and then discuss three or four things that are your hobbies or interests, why you enjoy these activities and who you usually do them with. In 10 years, I see myself, and then again, it says in three to four sentences, describe where you see yourself in 10 years. Where will you be? What will you be doing? Who will you be doing it with? Will you be in college or trade school? If so, which one? Again, three to four sentences about your future and where you see yourself in 10 years. And then the next paragraph, this past year has been unique because we were learning virtually. And then this is your chance to reflect on virtual learning. What were your successes? What were your challenges? Do you have any advice for future students who may find themselves in a similar situation? So this is your opportunity to reflect on the last year, okay? This website is my digital portfolio, a collection of the work I've done over the past year. My digital portfolio shows you my abilities by highlighting certain tasks I have completed. And because it's on the web, it will change over time as I learn new things. So hopefully this is something that you will build on in the future, okay? And then we have a list in this year in math I learned. And just tell us, the viewer, something you learned in math, something you learned in ELA, science, history, PE, and an elective, okay? So what I'd like you to do right now is pause this tutorial here and then pick it up after you have completed your reflection.